Hello, this is Anne Marie, and it's Tip Top Tuesday, and it's October 22nd, 2019, and I'm going to invite some people. Do, do, do. And that's it, I guess. Just a few people. So the topic today uh, is about trust, but it's also about um, res personal respect and the notion of retribution. What I've begun to realize is that I woke up, I'll start out by saying I woke up this morning and I had this feeling and it's getting to be autumn. So I knew that I had had a dream about something because it, there was just this heavy energy when I woke up. So I immediately went to meditate. And when I meditated, I found out it was about betrayal. And so it started me on a, a thought, thinking process about what is betrayal? And is it, an, is it really a feeling or is it an emotion? Is it intellectual? What is it? How does that base down to um, how we interact with people? And what I've gotten out of that is oftentimes betrayal is a feeling you have because you feel like you've put in more than you've gotten out. And that doesn't mean that when you originally were doing the putting in more, being open-hearted, that your intention was to just give. But then if the other person says, um, well, you know, I'll make this up to you, you hear that. Now, that doesn't mean you need for them to make it up to you. But I personally have found that when they hear that, then I start my own little agenda and control issues and start thinking like, this is how they're going to make it up to me, which is foolish. They're not saying, and I, well, I'm going to get back to you and you're going to tell me how I'm going to make up to you. First, the, the thing that I want to be clear about is, one, when you often do things for people, you're not doing it for a payback. You're doing it because you love them. Or you're doing that because you want to help. When people go down and help the people that, the, the flood victims or whatever, they're not thinking like, oh, and by the way, five years from now, you owe me. That doesn't happen. That is the crux of it. We have to acknowledge our own open-heartedness in how we interact with people. When people tell us they'll pay us back or whatever, they're basically saying that for themselves. And that's something that we need to look at. It's, it's their stuff, it's not ours. And you have to be realistic too in what's the motive, right? Why are they saying this? Are they saying this to make themselves feel better or do they really mean this? So my point really is that we are an open-hearted person, people, and it's not necessarily a, a back and forth of what we can do for each other. Rather, it is a connection with individuals and sharing, and we're sharing. So I kind of worked through the betrayal stuff. That's at the beginning. And I, I figured out that betrayal is just a lack of trust. Somebody says something and then they don't follow through. It, it's an emotional piece in that it's, it, you're also hurt. And we've all been betrayed in one way or another. But often that betrayal is coming from our own agenda, our own um, story about what we thought was going to happen. So. Um, and that's it. It's, I, I feel like I'm talking about betrayal because we often are wounded 
and we intellectualize and we haven't really taken the next step and figured out what me me i'm not the only one i'm sure that what that actually means and then how can we clear it how can we we release it put it in the light and let it go so that's the tip today um, if you're if you're focused or been feeling betrayed about something to really examine it look at it and get those feelings out and move forward and know you're a dazzle just the way you are okay take care